Right, which one are we have him? Do you want the black one or do you want the grey one? Well, look at the number plates. I mean, I could have bought lots of cars off of you, off of uh, Auto Trader and Marketplace, but that black one was speaking to me. It says my name on the plate. It already says Jeff on it. That's my car. It's perfect. Let's go and buy it. I'm not even joking. That is my car. Yes. Six hours later. So all good with the Picasso. Um, took a bit of a detour on the way home. Came via Burton to pick up some bits from um, Marshall Motors. Chris. Hello. Chris sorted out the um, MG. Hi, I'm Jeff Boys Cars. Just bought this uh, MG ZT off of Facebook Marketplace. That MG turned out it was a hodgepodge of cars, wasn't it then? Yeah, it was a mix of engines. Um, you had the Freelander engine for the bottom end and you had um, various different other bits and bobs that were attached to it that weren't actually from a ZT. Yeah, so um, I might as well turn this into the story that happened with the ZT. So Rich won the ZT, the water pump then failed. It went to F1 Auto Centres who didn't know what to do with it and didn't want to do anything with it. So I found a specialist to do the cam belt on the water pump and you did the cam belt on the water pump. Then it broke down on the way home with Rich, for yeah. one reason or another. And then he sorted out and then he sold it. So that was basically um, the end of the, the ZT story. It went on eBay, but you've got a few cars around here, haven't you? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Right, let's have a little walk around. So if I, if I do a bit of filming, you talk me through what you got and what you're up to, if that's all right. Uh, so this one is uh, one of our customers, Sean Mulvaney. Um, it's an MGZS 2.5 V6 uh, 180. Um, it's done quite a fair bit of work to it. It's he bought it out of a scrapyard and uh, yeah, it's it's been here since December and yeah. it's pretty much, it's going for its MOT tomorrow. It's got a few trick bits on it then. Oh yes, yeah. so all the suspension's been done. Uh, everything on the front end is pretty much brand new. So all brand new belts, new thermostat, uh, all the inlet manifold's been done. Um, all the suspension's been changed, the rear Great. suspension, brake lines. Are you starting to see more in or, or increasing levels of interest in these cars now? Or do, you, do you think the enthusiast group has always kind of been enthusiastic? The enthusiast groups are very good at what they do, but you tend to find that the actual Z, ZT and the actual 75, um, we get more of them than we do with the actual ZS. Yeah. So, but they they all have a following, and we see some really nice examples of yeah. them. So, and this one I believe is going to be on the Z stand uh, in October. Exciting. And you have a, a Jeep, which is very un-MG. It's about as, <laughs> about as un-MG as you can get. Well, this one is my landlord's father's car. Yeah. Uh, sadly, he kind of hit his house wall. Right. And ripped, damaged all the front end. So we've changed all the wing, replaced all the plastics on the front, new bumper, new wing, new so headlight. which engine is this then? Uh, this is the 3-litre V6 nice. diesel. So performance and relative economy. Yeah. Relative. She's lovely. Yeah, um, I bet. But she's completely top spec. So we'll ignore the Volkswagen for the moment. Is this a monogram? Yeah, she's yeah. a Typhoon. Uh, she's a uh, 2.5 V6 uh, 190. Um, she's she's a nice example. So yeah. And uh, to be honest, she's probably going to be with us for a while. Yeah. While the customer decides what he wants to do with it. And then you've got a yard full of. Uh, is it is this a graveyard or is this customer cars or is it a bit of everything? It's bits of everything. You got a what's that a Camaro? Yeah. And we another don't. and another monogram car. So we've got um, this one is for sale soon. Yeah. Once it's done. Okay. Forty eight thousand miles. It's nice in that colour as well, that's quite rare, isn't it? So then you got a silver something. Yeah, that's one of our breakers. Yeah. And then this, which obviously makes a lot of sense. <laughs> What's the story here? She's come all the way from Dubai. Yeah. Um, and she's one of our Dubai customers. Um, all the the engine needs to, needed to be sorted. It's um, you had no compression on one side of the cylinder head. Yeah. The story goes they they bought it at an auction in Dubai. Yeah. Um, they then drove it to the docks, loaded it in the container, and then shipped it over. The moment it arrived in the UK, it's running like an absolute piece of crap. Brilliant. Um, we've done the head gasket, but we also found while well, we had the. Um, can we put bonnet? Part. Yeah, of course. How was doing the head gasket on one of these? Because it's a 6.2? Yeah, 6.4. Yeah, 6.4, okay. Nice. Um, they're not bad to do. You've got quite a bit of room, more room than you have on an MG. Yeah, yeah. But um, the problem is, is uh, it's got a knackered cam follower. Right. So we're just waiting for that to arrive from the States and then 
Uh, she'll be sorted, but she's now got compression where she should. Yeah. It's just we've got one rocket that just doesn't shut. Fair enough. So that's a work in progress. And then last one, let's talk about the yellow car. I like the colour. They didn't make that many in yellow, did they? They can't have sold that many in yellow. So the yellow one is Prim Primrose Yellow, and she's for one of our good customers, James Porter. He's bought it from a guy up in Birmingham. They only made something like 400 in total in year one of production. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, they seized it. Yeah. So, but if you look to the left, you'll see a Moonstone Green 75. Yeah. And that's uh, one of the pre pre production cars. Oh, right. Okay. So that's a pre production 75. Yeah. So, what's is there anything different that I could show people that they would notice on it? Most of the differences are actually underneath. Yeah. Okay. So, it's like underneath. So is that the correct plate for that car? Yeah. That makes it a 98, yeah, right? That's correct. Yeah. So, that is old because the MG ZT came out in 99. So the MG came out in 2001. 2001, so I'm I'm way off. So wow, that is a that must be the earliest. Is that one of the earliest in the country? It's one of them. Yeah. So Ace. You have uh, the owners club one, which is a white white one. Yeah. Um, you have one that belongs to I think it's called Jack Dawson. Okay. Um, which is S5. Yeah. S349 Doe. Yeah. Um, that's a nice one. Um, and then there's this one. So Brilliant. there is other S red, not many of them, but um, this one is probably one of the last that actually exists with uh, the aubergine interior and moonstone green. Oh right, aubergine. Oh, that's beautiful. So, yeah, I mean it's a bit of a wreck, but the that aubergine interior was lovely. Well, oh, the goodness. seats are actually put away, that's why. Because yeah. Pulled all the carpet out. You can get the idea of the colour from the back seats, though, but. Um, I mean, are they quite sought after, the aubergine interiors? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw one on Marketplace not too long ago and it did, it looked, it looked absolutely fantastic. Brilliant, well thanks for, uh, thanks for the little walk around. Thanks for stashing my stuff for so long. <laughs> it's alright. And um, yeah, perhaps we'll, perhaps we'll speak again if I do uh, anything else MG related. Although to be honest, I've, I've done the ZT, I've done the ZR, I wouldn't mind doing a ZS, but and an F, I do an F. Yeah. I had a yeah, couple the of Fs. TFs, uh, they're good. It's so you've got Matt up at uh, MG Obsession, who yeah, he solely deals mostly with the TF and the F, yeah. and he's good at what he does. Yeah. So, uh, but no, it's there's a lot of good people in the actual MG world. So yeah, and. It's like if you have to parts, it's you've got Matt at MG Obsession, or you've got uh, Scott and Matt at M Discount MG Spares. Yeah. And they're, they're absolutely brilliant. So a lot of people around to support the cars. Yeah. And what do you think of my uh, my latest Jeff purchase? She's brilliant. 2003 Citroen Picasso that my father-in-law has been using for five years. Yeah. And in five years, he's not spent a penny on it. Well, he's never failed an MOT. That's my thinking on this car. I think it will probably last forever. Um, and it's actually, they're all right to drive, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's different. It's, uh, it's novel. Brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. So I'll take you around. Thank you very much. You're and um, speak to you soon. Take care. You too. Jeff buys cars. YouTube's most boring car channel.